Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Wednesday, December 3rd, 2014. All right, uh, yesterday's announcements, nothing really earth-shattering, negative or positive, pretty much in line. Today we have the ADP employment report uh, for last month for November. Productivity and Cost, ISM Non-Manufacturing Index, EIA Petroleum Status Report, and the Beige Book comes out at 2 p.m. We'll be taking a look at that probably tomorrow morning. All right, that's it for today. Some, uh, I want to keep an eye on some of that. Uh, across the ponds in Asia were mixed, and in Europe, uh, let me see, how would I interpret that? <laughs> I would say um, slightly bullish. Uh, majorly so with some of these uh, exchanges and indexes, but uh, well, let me just dip below on that one. Anyway, um, and what's here for news? I don't know, I didn't even look at the news this morning. Uh, I did look to see, though, I am... Uh, I like for video games, I like playing Skylanders in Minecraft. And uh, I saw, read an article where Minecraft was the number two search term for all of this year. I don't know who compiles that, probably the Googleites of the world. But I did see that on uh, Yahoo News. So if you're interested, you might want to go there and check that out. Okay, uh, let's see. What do we want to do next? Do we want to go to the futures here in the U.S. looking flat? Gold is at 1202. Wow, it's above 1200. That's a big deal. Oil is at 6727. Where did I read that it was above 70? Was that right? Let me see here. I don't know that it was that this at least this future I don't think it was above 70 no I don't know where that comes from um, but I'm not sure exactly where that particular comment came from or what price they're actually looking at I just look at you know the heaviest traded future in oil and that's what I base um, what I do on so it came up a tad and that is true looking at the dollar we're at 88,905 and wow um, the euro dollar pair is at 123 remember when it was a buck and a quarter I think it was 124 something yesterday it's, it's pretty um it's sinking kind of fast, 88.9. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Yeah, that's that's pretty dang. That's a new low for this year. This is a one-year weekly, so yeah, that's a new low for the year. Oh, uh, so the dollar is getting stronger. Okay, uh, yesterday I entered LinkedIn and SPX. We'll take a look at those as we go through the scan. And we will quickly go through the scan and see if we can get out early today. Okay, Apple. Uh, still kind of hoping it gets down to this target here. We'll see what happens with it, but we're going to have to be patient on that particular one. Amazon. How come I'm not switching over here? There we go. We an alert on Amazon. Didn't work out. We we're looking for a 20 delta. Doesn't look good right now, uh, but it still might. So I'm going to just move this down a little bit, and I'll keep it on the 20 delta for today. And that uh, 20 delta actually was from Monday. As we looked at this hook here, and we said, well, you know, if it keeps going up, this actually is beginning to look more like a 50 delta, but not with this 
turnover here and the moving average and the PPS down that uh, makes me hesitant so if the alert goes off I'll take a look at it but yeah, it's not an automatic I'm going to jump in and do a trade on this Boeing uh, pretty much the same thing we're looking at a 50 delta here it was on our list for yesterday it didn't come through uh, and we had it in a setup it's still in a setup so we'll put it on back on our list for today yeah life is good okay Baba we're just gonna take a look at we got burned off on this thing last week or the week before uh, so that's gonna make me kinda hesitant why does this one have so much room in it hmm. do I have a different style here let me see here Still have a lot of padding out here. I need to change that. And I think it just changes for this chart unless I change everything. Now we got 20, so we really only want about 10. So let's resave that. There. Now I would have to reload all of them, but we should be good now. All right, so this looks a little bit better when we look at it this way rather than with all that padding in there. And so, um, what happened to our moving average now? Huh. I got to hang on. I got to fix that. So the moving average was there, but somehow or another, I don't know, it was at 50. So I don't, I don't know what happened there, but. I was probably messing around with it that caused it to do that. So we're good now. Um, because it was at 50, we didn't have 50 days, I guess, of this thing trading, so it didn't show up. Okay, so taking a pass on Alibaba. Baidu, however, we're still interested in it. And we're seeing um, what looks like here a... Uh, definitely in a downtrend so we have our target set up here I'll wait for that one to develop for us don't know what Chipotle is doing so we'll take a pass on that Costco uh, we had an alert on Costco and we missed it still doing pretty good it would have done just fine if we would have gotten in on this day even on this day uh, would have been okay so now we're waiting for the next cycle take a look at the Dow new high yesterday da, 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 da. happy days are here again okay gold uh, big day yesterday and now when well, that was Monday yesterday it's uh, like a doji like a doji Google waiting for our target up here LinkedIn, which we got into yesterday, did we not? I didn't mark it. Oh, shame on me. So where are we at with LinkedIn? We're at a 215. So we are right there. Let me put a line in here. All right, so we have our line in here now. That was about 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon, which would have been... Somewhere this uh, ends begins at 1442, um, somewhere around here. So uh, that's that one. Then I took a look at NDX. NDX didn't give me the hook, so I took a pass on that one. Netflix. Uh, we're waiting. We have a target set up here in this current downtrend. Although, um, if it keeps moving up this iron condor simulated, it's going to work out pretty good. Price line. Uh, I think we're, we have a breakout here. So I think we're in a downtrend. I'm looking for a target up here. Oops. So the reason why I picked that so quickly is because things are changing so fast. 
normally I would wait a whole cycle. Once a new downtrend, I'd wait a whole cycle and then have it come back up again. But for some unknown reason, they're just really slow um, the second half of this year. So I'm going to... We have a breakout. I mean, this was a support level right around here, 1149. And it definitely broke through that pretty solidly. And looking on the intraday, we definitely have a nice downtrend hanging in there right now. And the last four days are red. Good enough for me at this point. So I'll come on up here, touch that, and we get our hooks and we're in. Russell uh, was not on my list for yesterday, a little choppy. Not really interested in patterns that look like that. SPX, however, is a different story. And that one I did enter. And that was, uh, I collected 70 cents on that. That was, um, that's next, this is next week's expiration. I, uh, 20 Delta. And I picked it, you know, I was not exactly at 20. I may have been a tad below it. Because normally I like to get a dollar for these, um, I'm only collecting 70 cents. I thought I'd be a little bit safer. 70 cents is pretty good, though, in reality. That's $70 for each contract and only a buck and a quarter to get in. So that's okay with me. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a limit order on here to buy it back for 20 cents so if I get to a point where um, I made 50 bucks on this thing I'm gonna buy it back and the way that I do that is I just uh, click on this one and highlight it and then hold down the shift key and click on this one and then those are two left clicks and then do a right click and say create closing order Okay, so now uh, what I'm looking for is 20 cents, so I'll put 0 .20 in here, press the enter key, and then I'm going to change this to a GTC order, click on confirm and send, and because um, this is across a couple of accounts, actually three accounts, I'm going to buy it back in this one, I don't own it in that one, I'm going to buy it back in this one, and buy it back in this one. So, uh, don't believe this. <laughs> don't I wish. I'm only going to make $50 on each one, so that's really like $150 for the three of them. And I'm going to go ahead and send that. Okay, so now we have... I'm going to sell the long and buy back the short. And that's in all three accounts here. It's showing that. And I have uh, one contract in each account. Now, I could do more contracts, but um, I just uh, want to be careful. I don't want to blow up any of these things. You know, you get greedy and and want to collect a lot of money, but let's we don't get greedy um, most of the time. <laughs> I mean, every once in a while, I get mad or I do something stupid or I just do get greedy, but I try to keep those emotions in check. All right, we're going to take a look at Tesla. Actually, I want to jump back and take a look at SPX. Um, we have a target set up here on Tesla. So on SPX, when you look at the chart, if it ever moves over there, I did click on it, did I not? Um, it's going to give me an estimated based on the Greeks and the calculations and everything else it's saying well the price needs to move up here in order to have uh, in order to get this order to execute for them to make the 50 cents so it's already kind of marked that on the chart so I just thought you might be interested in seeing that and I don't know if I go to, let me see here, 
do the pan thing. No, it won't pan on price. What if I go to manual here and then there? Now that looks a little bit better. So we're talking right now estimated price at 2090. The high is 2075. But as time moves on, as we get closer to expiration, this will begin to move down. So just for fun, let's put a um, I'm going to put a price level in here. And we'll take a look at how that works out. Oops, there. And we'll put a date on that. Let's put um, today's date, 12-3. And we'll change the color. How's that? So we'll take a look at this as time moves on. And we'll see how this particular line is uh, estimated price level for the underlying. How it begins to move down, provided you know everything kind of either stays the same or maybe drifts upward. That this line will start to move down. That's 12.3 prior to market open. So we'll take a look at it tomorrow. It should be fun. That's a fun thing to do. And then last but not least is Visa. Oops. Oops. There we go. Uh, Visa. Uh, we have a target set down here, and we're still waiting to hit that. All right, that was kind of fun today. So yesterday we jumped in on LinkedIn and SPX. And we got a sell order in on SPX, and we're going to take track of what happens. Estimated price to reach our target. We'll watch for that. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day, and happy trading.